Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to share with you my honest thoughts about how my Fawn Design diaper bag has held up over the last eight and a half months. So it's always fun to watch product review videos about things um, that you're thinking about, but I also thought it would be really cool to share with you um, just kind of everything about how it's held up because that could be a determining factor and if you decide to buy a product or not to see if it lasts or if it's actually worth the money and all of that good stuff. So if you want to know more, keep watching. Before we get started, I wanted to quickly say that if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I post videos four days a week, every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they are mom vlogs, family vlogs, um, motherhood related topics, lifestyle videos, all that kind of stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, um, and then you will be notified when I post new videos. All right, so let's jump into this video. If you are new here, my name is Amanda. I've got two kids. I have a little boy named Brody and he is almost three. And then I have a little girl named Addison who is eight and a half months old. So right before I had Addison, when I was pregnant with her, I was going through different diaper bags, trying to figure out what I wanted to get. And I always loved the Fawn Design diaper bag, but I was really trying to determine if it was worth the money and all of that kind of thing because it is a pricier diaper bag. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, I want to say it's like 170 or 180, something like that in that range. Um, and I was looking at another one at the same time. I think it was a Skip Hop Greenwich or something. I think that's how you say it. Um, backpack. And it is a cute, stylish backpack. Um, but I ended up obviously deciding to go with the Fawn Design bag. I think this bag is so beautiful and that was why I decided on it. Um, if you haven't seen my product review of this bag, I will link it up in the cards and in the description so you can go back and watch that if you're interested. Um, so, um, yeah, I wanna share with you guys though, like I said, how it's held up. So my daughter, like I said, is eight and a half months old. So I've been using it for just that long. And um, I've had multiple people message me and ask me um, if it was worth it um, and ask me if like my leather had started peeling because I guess some people had said that that would happen. So I kind of wanted to go through some of those things that people had asked me about and let you know um, what the deal is. So. I am like crazy about this bag, so I feel like I've really taken very good care of it. Like I'm psycho if I have it on and I'm in a parking lot, like I make sure to just be really careful that I don't like bump it on anything or like a brick wall. I know that sounds weird, but when I'm just, you know, you've got your hands full with babies and you're walking in, you know, between things and I just am really psycho about keeping it clean and all of that kind of stuff. So everything really has held up nicely. The zippers are incredible. That's something I've always loved about this bag. And honestly, I think that was one of the things I forgot to mention in my product review is that the zippers are like really, really nice. And when I checked out that Skip Hop bag, when I was deciding between the two, the zippers were horrible on it. Like you literally, they would get stuck and see like if I would reach back, like if I'm driving, not driving, but if I'm like in the front seat and I reach back to like grab something for the kids, I can literally do the zippers with one hand. Whereas with um, that other one, I noticed you're having to like pull and yank and it was just made it so difficult. So that is one thing I really, really love. But um, anyway, all of that to say, this bag has held up really well overall. The one thing I will say is on this little grab tab thing here, whatever you want to call it, um, pretty early on, like I want to say maybe a month into having it, I almost feel like mine was just kind of like defective because um, it just seems crazy that it happened that soon and like I didn't even, I don't even carry it by this that often, but I do pick it up like that. So this came apart and so that was pretty big disappointment um i don't i like i said i don't know why that happened but let me see if i can get it to focus so you can really see the stitching came apart there so see all of that it just fully came apart this side is not like that it's fully intact you can see there and then like i said this one is not um and like actually the back 
kind of looks worse how it um I'm trying to get it to focus so you can really see um so look all of those threads are ripped out and like i said i haven't been super hard on it i'm actually really crazy about how well i take care of this um so that was a little bit of a disappointment just because it happened so early on but um other than that that's really the main thing that has happened everything like the color is perfect like really it all looks really really nice um I'm trying to see on the front there's like a couple little spots, but I honestly think that's, that's not like the leather peeling. So my leather hasn't peeled at all. Um, and as far as like the functionality of using this bag, I highly, highly recommend it. Like it's the most beautiful bag, diaper bag I've ever seen. I love it. It's so comfortable when you're wearing it. The pockets are all really, really functional. The one thing on the pockets that I will complain about is I really hate the side pockets. I can barely like my daughter uses the um the what are they the komotomo bottles and you like you can't get them down in here barely they um it's so weird they're not even like that big around but it's almost like because of the way that the leather is like it doesn't slide and the komotomo bottles are soft so when you try to shove it down in there they just like smush because <laughs> it's not like plastic so I don't know that's really annoying to me and then also my son uses like the miracle 360 cups just like the normal cups that like everybody uses and though i have a really hard time getting them down in here so basically when the diaper bag is empty like it is right now you could probably easily get a sippy cup down in there but when it's full which usually i have it pretty full because with two kids you need so much stuff and so here's the inside of the bag if you've never really seen it um it's got all those pockets and stuff like that and i always have it pretty full and so when it's full you can't get like anything in this pocket they're literally pointless and that is one that is kind of one of the biggest negatives i saw that a lot when people reviewed the diaper bag they would say the pockets um, are really too small on the side and that kind of thing and I was like, oh, I can get past it or whatever. And I can because I would I would still buy the bag over. I would 100% buy it. But like if, if um, I don't know, if Fond Design should really like think about that if they ever do. Because this is like the newer version of the original bag. And if they ever do kind of like make changes again, I would definitely suggest them um, change these pockets up because they just don't work they're they're too difficult like you want to be you want to be able to easily slip a cup down and pull it out like you don't have to take five minutes to like cram it down in there and then barely be able to get it out it's just a total pain in the butt i mean honestly if there was some type of like elastic or something right here that was kind of hidden so it didn't look tacky that it, where it could kind of pull out a little bit it would be way better this just doesn't work so that is kind of a bummer um, and then the other thing is a lot of people told me on my initial video, they said you, um, because I told everybody I bought the stroller hooks, which is an add on. They don't, this bag doesn't come with stroller hooks. It doesn't come with a diaper, um, changing pad like some do. So you do have to get those separately. But, um, I actually didn't end up, sorry, I'm getting off track, but I didn't end up getting the changing mat that Fawn Design sells because they sell like a changing clutch and it's like a cute clutch. It's got a changing pad in it and like a wipe dispenser, but the wipe dispenser is small. And so you'd have to like transfer them into there. It's just kind of a pain in the butt. If you have multiple kids and you're going away all day and you need like a lot of wipes, it, you wouldn't even use that. Or at least I wouldn't because I like to have more than enough wipes. And I just feel like a tiny little thing like that is pointless. Um, so for me, I felt like the $40, it was $40 for the changing, essentially all I really would have used out of that was the changing pad and maybe the clutch. I was like, ah, that's not worth it. So I just had like a $6 plastic changing mat. It's black. And normally it's in this like back pocket here that just lifts up. I keep it down in there. And so anyways, it's fine. Um, but I did buy the stroller hooks 
for this bag and multiple people like commented on my video and stuff and messaged me and said that was a total waste you didn't need to buy the stroller hooks blah 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 you can just use I guess you would attach the other strap that comes to it with it to these hooks and then just like hang it over your stroller and I guess you could do that but honestly I use the stroller hooks all the time like every time I take my stroller I use the hooks they work perfectly like they're really they velcro tightly onto the handle of your stroller um holds it up really nicely like I feel like the strap you'd have to tighten it way down otherwise it would hang too low and my stroller doesn't have a lot of storage space like underneath and so it is and even if it did like when you need to access stuff you don't want your diaper bag shoved under the stroller it's so nice like having it hang on the stroller where you can just like get into your bag and get everything you need so um i definitely recommend buying the stroller hooks um i do not regret that whatsoever so that was a really good thing um and then I will say like the metal, like all of this has held up really nicely. Like it's not tarnished in any way. Like overall, it's a very high quality bag. I am absolutely obsessed with it. If you're on the fence at all, I would say just do it. Like I, with Brody, I think I said this in one of my videos, but with my son Brody, I was trying to just be like low maintenance and I looked around a lot and I couldn't really find a diaper bag that I loved. And so I ended up just kind of like, Steven picked out this like camo diaper, um, sorry, not diaper bag, camo backpack. And I ended up buying myself a black Lululemon backpack that I was gonna use as a diaper bag. And then my Lululemon backpack just like, it was just not functional whatsoever so i ended up pretty much always using the camo backpack that steven bought for his for his bag um and we used that but it was just like it was totally guyish it was like a guy backpack i didn't feel good like carrying it around like i didn't like it at all and so this time around especially with having a little girl i was like you know what like we've just got to make it happen and get a really really functional diaper bag like I would die without it because you take it everywhere with you, especially when you have a little baby. When your kids get to like two years old, you don't really need the diaper bag as much. You'll use like a little backpack or even that they can carry like, and they just don't need as much stuff. But when they're babies and you have multiple kids and you have a million things you have to take, you need a good diaper bag that you feel good about. You feel cute carrying. And so I absolutely say it's worth the money ever so often fawn design will do like um sales you just have to watch it it's not like sometimes it'll be on like certain colors so they'll be like everything blush is this much marked down or whatever so if you follow them on instagram you can just stay up to date with when they do sales and stuff but we got you know some some gifts some money for having when we had addison and so that's what i decided to use to buy this bag and it was worth every penny i love it so much and you know it's just nice like when you have something really really nice and you just treat yourself and then every single day when you like pick it up you're just you know you're just really excited to carry it and it just makes you happy and so i think sometimes you just got to do that so um anyways i yeah i think that's I'm trying to think i feel like that's like everything like the inside of my bag like it looks brand new literally brand new it's just beautiful so i think the quality is really really great um and yeah none of my leather has peeled and i've almost had it like like i said eight and a half months almost a year so i feel like if it was going to it probably would have already so i have no complaints uh other than the side pockets and the fact that this little stitching broke but i really i don't think they would all do that i think like mine's defective or something so um i guess that is everything for this video i hope hopefully you enjoyed this little like update on this bag and if you're on the fence about getting it maybe this brought some clarity to you um if they if you have heard some negative reviews then you can compare it against what how i feel about it um so that is it Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one.